So hello adventurers and welcome to the club. Today I wanna show you in this little DIY how you can make a very small, very lightweight EDC survival kit knife. So all you need is a exacto knife blade, every size will work, rivet or a nut and bolt, and a piece of sheet metal. This is from an old beans can but you can of course use some aluminium sheet or brass if you like doesn't really matter so first step first you take so you take your marker and this is the cutting edge and you mark yourself a little round corner here you want this to be round and this needs to be cut away. So now just let me show this again with a little explanation. This edge needs to be round, otherwise the knife won't fold. Because, well, it will catch when we don't remove this part. So, I simply took my pliers and broke it off but I recommend to use a Dremel or something like this. So, now we are just starting to bend it. Not bend it, bend it. <laughs> I'm just folding the edges over, so the sharp part will be gone. One, and then we can just take our fingers if you are strong otherwise we take the pliers again and fold them over once more so you see all the sharp edges are gone now I'm just taking the pliers and crimping it flat just to make it look a bit better So step next, once the edges are all folded over, we take our blade and put it on it. Cutting edge will be on the inside, but it doesn't matter at this step, we're just making sure we're folding it in the middle. In this case, the little lines from the can actually help us to see where the middle really is. You can of course use the pliers again at this step, or you put it on a edge of a surface and hammer it around it. That makes it far easier. But I'm doing it here, well, MacGyver style. <laughs> yeah. So just make sure it is. Uh, even as possible. That's not the ideal material here, of course, but yeah, it will do. <laughs> so let's make sure the blade still fits. Just plop it in. Perfect. Just as we want it. So now I'm putting it out here on my little work piece of wood making sure to line the hole we are about to punch up with the hole here in my little work piece. You can of course use a drill, but I'm making it here, well, redneck style, completely improvised. <laughs> Just as you could make it with a nail and some more devices. I've marked the spot where the hole needs to be and now I'm just punching it through 
the kettle. You can use a hole punch like I do here or cast a mortar and a stone or a drill. Yeah. If you're fancy you can use a drill. <laughs> So now I'm taking the bath again and I'm squeezing the jagged edges that have formed down. So we don't cut ourselves when we use this little knifey knife. <laughs> yeah. So now let's see if everything still fits or if we have to readjust something. down of those here this is a step you can of course uh, save if you drill the hole instead of punching it <laughs> but like I said I'm doing this here with the most basic tools so everybody has the chance to recreate it and now we're taking the bolts you can of course use the rivet but basic tools and we're putting it together <laughs> yeah I'm just screwing the screw in here as far as it works off <laughs> I make it off camera So now, so far it's finished, but I'm taking my tin snips here and I'm cutting a bit of the end away, just so it is a bit smaller and more convenient. So, and lastly, you take a little drop of nail polish, just ask your girlfriend, or if you are a girl, uh, take your own, and make a dab on the end of the screw. That's just gluing the threads together so it doesn't unscrew. You can also put a second nut on it, but that's the easy version here. And now it's finished, our little DIY folding exacto knife blade. It's perfect for every kind of Altoid survival style kit or something. It's very lightweight, it's robust and it doesn't have any jagged edges because we have folded them. And you can of course make a neatlier job than this here. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> it works. You can hold it and you can cut with it and you can fold it back up and also it doesn't unfold on itself that's also very useful <laughs> so i hope you've enjoyed this little video and yeah <laughs> you can of course change the blade if it ever gets too dull but you can sharpen them as well 
but if it ever snaps or something, you can just undo the bolt. Unless you use a rivet, then you can't undo it, you have to enter it, but that's not too bad as well, because it's just a piece of sheet metal. Yeah, a neat little way to have a plate on the go. Now, just to satisfy the knife crowd out there, a little demonstration. Now we know it does cut paper, <laughs> which is no surprise to the kind of blade we have here. And yeah, it closes far easier than mine if you take the time and really trammel down the, the curve instead of just breaking the blade <laughs> in a rough shape, but yeah. And I'm pretty sure if you take your time and use some nice materials like brass or something, you can do a beautiful version of this. And I would love to see it, so just put a comment or a link in the description below. Yeah, but it works. You can hold it without fearing to cut yourself because, well, it's sturdy. You hold it directly on the bolt, it gives you extra grip. So you can really feather stick some wood with it or well skin an animal if you have to. No, real survival situation, which I doubt this is used in, but yeah, you never know. It's the best way to turn such a blade into a knife. It's foldable, it's transportable, it's ultra lightweight. And well. Uh -huh. It does all it is intended to do. Cut. <laughs> but not yourself. That's because it is, well, in a secure little sheet. Gives you a little handle. Works just as well as the plastic ones you get everywhere. But it looks cooler. I mean, not this version. But if you make a version in less than five minutes. <laughs> Uh, in more than five minutes, <laughs> and less uh, looks looks probably like mine. Still a bit better, probably, because well, there's a camera here in front of me. <laughs> I'm just viewing this to the screen of my camera mostly. <laughs> yeah. Hope you've enjoyed this video, but be careful if you decide to break the blades of like I did, uh, wear eye protection, and hunt for the little blade scraps. You don't want to have them in the carpet. <laughs> so, and in order to even improve this a bit more, I just added a bit of duct tape as a handle. Gives you just a bit more, well, grip. But it still works the same. You hold it, can really grip on it without breaking it, and well, then you can cut. A neat little design. Still closes as intended. Yeah, I will put this in my pocket and use it for a while. And then, if I'm happy with it, I will post the video. <laughs> yeah, always test the stuff before much.